PSG Bayern, let's talk about it. Man, what a game. I'm happy. I I, I truly am. I, I'm not just because I'm a Real Madrid fan and I wanted PSG to lose because Mbappe literally ditched us for PSG. But, you know, that's another story. You know, I'm, I'm not butthurt. I swear, I swear. I'm just happy that the better team won and the team that was built to win. PSG is a team that was built to win the Champions League, but they're not a team with a good structure like Bayern. Bayern are an amazing team. They have great players. They have a great bench and they play well with each other. And that's one thing that PSG will never have is that they, they do not play well with each other. They have the best players. And if you guys say that PSG doesn't have a good midfield or defense, and the midfield we're talking about Verratti. Now, Verratti didn't have a good game today. I get that. But Verratti, by some, has been named as the best midfielder out there. One of the best midfielders. And in the defense, you have Nuno Mendes, who's a bright, bright talent. Great player. You have Sergio Ramos. He's, he was almost their best player today. And that's the weirdest part. Ramos was the one putting it all out there. It's crazy. Now, Marquinhos wasn't in this game. He got injured. They have the best right back in the world, Hakimi, to some other people. So, you know, and then the goalkeeper, they have one of the best goalkeepers in the world. Literally. I mean, I, we don't even have to talk about the front three. Messi, Mbappe, Neymar. Neymar is injured. Okay. But Messi and Mbappe, like, you would think these guys would put it all on the line for this game. They didn't do anything. They barely ran. They walked almost the entire second half. I mean, Messi wasn't even interested in getting the ball anymore in the second half. I'm happy that today was not a day that paid to win one. PSG bought and paid all of those players crazy amount of money to win them the Champions League. And that just shows you that money does not win you Champions League. It does not win you games. It might win you the league title, but it's not going to win you the Champions League. Especially when you go up against a team structured very, very well like Bayern Munich is. It's, it's not going to happen. So I'm just happy that PSG, in a way, they were put in their place. I mean, the management has to take a look at what's going on. Board has to take a look at what they're doing. Yes, they're buying the best players, but it doesn't mean that the best players play well with the best players. It, it's not always that case. At a team like PSG, where the players are pretty much bigger than the club, it's never going to work. So I'm happy. I'm happy what happened today. I'm Bayern were exceptionally good. Alfonso Davies was world class. I mean, this guy is, is such a beast. Mueller did his thing. One person we don't talk a lot about is Chupo Moting. This guy, he may not be a Lewandowski. He may not be Enzema, but he he's a presence in the box. He's there and he gets to the balls. He scored two goals for the most part today. One didn't count. Controversial call, but the second one, he was there. He definitely needs his praises as well. But there's just no passion at PSG. Mbappe, surprisingly, that's the one that surprised me the most, is in the second half, zoned out of the game. It's insane that PSG's best player in the second half was Ramos. And the most danger came from Ramos. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. I mean, and don't even get me started on Messi, guys. I mean, Messi after the World Cup, the, the difference between him at the World Cup and him now, it's wild, guys. He was literally playing like a 20-year-old at the World Cup. And now, or PSG, I mean, he's, he's had decent games here and there, but when it really counts, he, he just has no interest in really putting extra 110% to get the W, to get to the ball, to, to drop back and help defend. It, he's just not interested at all. I think Messi should, should definitely leave PSG. One question we don't ask ourselves that much, guys, is, is this Messi's last Champions League? A lot of people are asking him not to renew. A lot of people are saying that he should leave PSG. And yes, Messi is one of the, if not the greatest player out there. But at 35 years old, you have to start to think, should you remain at a team that's trying to accomplish something and not really be there and, and put 110%? Or should you go to your new destiny? Let that team like PSG build from the bottom up, not focus on you and try to get another structure going for the club. So should Messi leave PSG and where should he go? A lot of people are talking about the MLS. A lot of people talk about Saudi Arabia where Messi and Ronaldo will never know. A lot of people are talking about Barcelona. Do you guys think he will be good at Barcelona or will he hold them back and hold other players back from developing there? You guys gotta let me know that. It's an interesting topic, man. That is an interesting topic. So drop that in the comments. Where should Messi go next? But that's just my rant, guys. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm, as a Madrid fan, I am just happy to see Mbappe lose. I mean, it's, maybe I'm salty. Maybe I'm one of those salty fans. I just did not want this guy to win the, with PSG. I, I just, I wanted him to know that that was the wrong choice to do because it was. You're staying at a team that has no plan, has no identity. It's a business. The director of football there, it's, it's, it's a mess. And you decide to stay there. I get it's your French nationality. I get that's your home. I mean, the, literally the president was telling him to stay. So I get the pressure might be there but i mean if there's one thing mbappe needs to do now is he needs to leave it's it's crazy guys it's crazy man but let me know let me know what you guys think drop your thoughts in the comments i really want to hear it and if you guys enjoyed these kinds of videos where we just literally talk and rant drop a like in the video let me know and i will catch you guys in the next video or the next rant